I was debating if I will buy this sneaker or not, mainly because I knew that I couldn't get it for retail and the resale prices were just insane. However, thanks to a good reseller friend of mine, which is Good Souls PH, I was finally able to get my hands on this, the Jordan 5 off white metallic black. Let's unbox it, open it up, put it on feet, and check it out. Let's go. If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I will give you three reasons. Number one, we're giving away Supreme Body Bag. Uh, the draw for this one is happening really soon. Reason number two, we're giving away an a Infinity React Flyknit in your size. The draw for that will be happening next week. And lastly, I just announced a new giveaway. We're in. We're actually giving this really nice ape hat away. The link to all of the mechanics to all of the three ongoing giveaways can be found down below. Click them, watch them, join. Good luck. Let's get right into the unboxing. As you guys can see, this is your typical Jordan 5 box. However, there are cutouts, which is a recurring theme of this particular collection. Uh, this can be also found in the off-white dunks, which we did the review on. And it can also be found in a bunch of accessories that Virgil came out with last season, including a really nice planner that I bought from Las Vegas. If you haven't seen my Las Vegas vlogs yet, watch them after this video. The link to my entire Las Vegas playlist down below in the description box anyway as you guys can see if you go to the side of the box it says here the sizing I got it true to size size 12 Jordan 5s usually run a little bit big so hopefully this fits I usually go size 13 or plus one uh, with Jordan so I am hoping I got it in the right size so if you pop it open ba bam this is the Jordan 5 off-white and metallic black and we'll talk about the Jordan 5 silhouette in a bit as well as the sneaker but first I want to talk about the tissue paper that was found in the box it's not really a tissue paper it's more like plastic but I love how they did it so it has small logos of off-white as well as 2020 white 2013 really nice packaging that they did for this particular sneaker now to those who don't know the original jordan 5 dropped in 1990 in four colorways it was actually inspired by a mustang world war fighter thus the reflective tongue tab that you found with the original model it was later retro in the year 2000 making it the first jordan retro uh, for the new millennium specifically for virgil abloh and off white this is the second jordan that virgil has worked on the first one being of course the iconic jordan one wherein we saw the jordan one chicago off white we saw the jordan one unc off white and we saw the all white jordan one off white which makes me so excited with this one because this is the second jordan that he worked on the second silhouette it's definitely going to be exciting and the prices on this will definitely go up in the months and years to come speaking of prices my prediction is the price of this particular sneaker will go up in maybe probably six months to a year which is the same that we saw with almost all of the off-white sneakers that virgil has worked on in fact the air force one off-whites both the black and the vault are now selling for a thousand dollars wherein you could probably get those for resale back then anywhere from 30 to 35,000. The off-white Presto in black is now selling for 50,000 pesos or a thousand dollars when back then you could easily find one brand new anywhere from 30 to 35,000 pesos. This one when it first came out in the gray market before the official release it was selling anywhere from 1,400 to 1,800 US dollars. So almost a hundred thousand pesos for this one. Uh, when it came out the price is kind of stabilized at 1,000 dollars or 50,000 pesos to 60,000 pesos but since then it has steadily gone down to the $700 level where you can probably get it for well if you're in the US for 35 to 40,000 pesos my advice is if you're looking for a sneaker investment that you can turn around in the year this one if you can buy it for 35 to 40,000 pesos again in the US here in the Philippines it's selling already for 50,000 to 60,000 or a thousand dollars the price on this will definitely go up. It will go up maybe to the $1,000 range, maybe even more. Just give it some time, take care of the condition, especially when the plot twist color, which is the white version of this that Virgil Abloh teased online, comes out. 
the price on this one will probably shoot up as well. So again, if you can get it at a good price, I strongly recommend that you guys pick one up if you can. So let's go over the sneaker. Now, one of the things that they kept with this shoe, uh, which is the same with the first Jordan 5 that came out in the 1990s, is that they kept this tongue part reflective. I think the Jordan 5 that came out in the 2000, which was retro, the entire sneaker was reflective. For this particular shoe, it's just the tongue, which is a great callback to the OG Jordan 5. Apart from that, it keeps pretty much the same silhouette except that you have multiple layers for the upper of the shoe, reminiscent of the Ghost Collection or Ghosting, I forgot what it's exactly it's called, Collection of Virgil Abloh, which includes the Air Force One, the 97, and a bunch of the other Air Maxes. Now, other details that are quite interesting, there are circular holes throughout the sneaker. You can find one here, one here, one here, and one here. Now, there were several videos of Virgil Abloh cutting those holes out and we will be doing that as well in a separate video so for now we'll keep it as is but watch out for the video where we puncture the holes and probably get a lot of hype beasts screaming in pain but I love that so we'll do that so watch out for that video when we do it as well now there are other details that are interesting of course you have the trademark text of Virgil Abloh over here the Nike Air logo there at the back you have the lace guard system or lace lock system over here you have the black zip tie uh, it also comes with three laces the default is black uh, it comes with extra white laces as well as red laces I'll probably pop in the red so that it gets a little more hype uh, and then if you go down to the outsole this is where I am absolutely loving it they colored it so that it looks like it has yellowed over time which is uh, I mean it's a nice touch really two thumbs up for that one I'm loving that particular hip uh, of used or old yellow for the outsole of the shoe just like with most of Virgil's work if you take a look at the tongue and even the collar of around the ankle it is exposed foam and you have the Air Jordan logo written inverted at the back of the tongue tab with that said let's put these bad boys on feet So how is the Jordan 5 off-white on feet? Now, as I mentioned earlier, I did go through to size on this one, which is contrary to my usual style of going a full size up. And it turns out, after putting on it on feet, it was a great decision. The fit is just right, not too tight. It doesn't squeeze the life out of your feet. It's A-OK. -okay. So you might want to consider that if you usually go a full size up or a half size up when you wear your Jordans. That's more for people with wide feet, just in case you guys don't get my drift. I have wide feet. If you have normal sized feet, you might might even want to consider going a half size down or you may want to roll the dice and go for a typically you know a true true to size one way to find out what your correct fit is for the Jordan 5 off-white is to just head on over to a Nike store or a Jordan shop pick whatever Jordan 5 is on display put it on feet and try what size works for you and then go for that when you buy your Jordan 5 off-white online now I love the fact that it came with three laces the black one you wear if you want to keep things subtle the white one you wear if you want to keep things casual the red you wear if you want to go all hype beast so again the versatility is there the customization is there the personalization is all there which is a great thing to look forward to when you buy off-white sneakers and it comes with a ton of or with a bunch of extra laces personally my choice I'll probably keep it with the black one just because it kind of looks cool with the black feel I said that I, I'd probably go with the red but after trying all three laces I am definitely leaning towards just going with the black it just looks so much cleaner so do i recommend picking up the jordan 5 off white uh, if you are picking one up to wear uh, and you weren't able to get it for retail i'd like to think that maybe now until the next month is your best window to do so while the prices are still at the 700 dollars range my gut really tells me that the price will go up so if you're looking to pick one up as an invest as an investment now again just like in the next couple of weeks might be the best time to do so what you can do is you can just monitor the prices on stock x and see if it's starting to trend upwards and if it you know hits a particular price point 
then you, that's probably the time that you really have to buy because there's no going back once it hits that stride and it starts to skyrocket upwards. And with that said, that's actually it for our vlog for today. Let me give a quick shout out again to McCoy of Good Souls PH. They gave me an excellent deal on this pair. If you guys are looking for sneakers, hype sneakers and hard to find sneakers on resale, Check them out. I'll put the link down below to their Instagram account, Good Souls PH. Oh, do you think I should cut out the circular things? I, I am planning on doing so, but I'd love to hear from you guys. If you think I should cut them out, uh, leave a comment down below saying that I should. And I'll probably do that in the next few days and do a follow-up vlog to this one. I hope you guys are all having a, well, a great weekend. And I hope that you all had an amazing week just, just ended. Uh, and as usual, peace, God bless, what's up? Boom.